Okay, just arrived in Lisbon and checked in in the hotel. It's literally called Hotel Hotel. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what this trip is about, maybe tomorrow or later on today, but I came here with my husband. Hi, Jesse. Hi. And he's already <laughs> digging into a little gift from the hotel room. Oh my gosh, these are literally my favorite. We ate so many of these in one day, the last time we were here in Lisbon. Um, oh, there's a door. Um, as I was saying, Lisbon is one of me and my husband's favorite cities to travel to. We were here two years ago and fell in love. Um, and so we're so happy to be back so soon. Didn't expect this, but anyways, um, I'm very excited to be back. We have um, like five days here of activities. And again, I'll talk more about what this trip is about in a, in a little bit, but it's late. We need to grab dinner. I am starving. It's like 8 p.m. here. So we gotta go find some dinner. day two. I just had breakfast with some of the ladies, met some of the Flodas partners here. So cool to like meet other entrepreneurs, which I have yet to do because I live in Amsterdam. Um, but I booked a massage this morning. Day one is like going to be quite relaxed. Um, it's a free day. So I decided to book a pregnancy massage because <laughs> my feet are already hurting and it's only day one. Um, but I really got to get going. So I'll update you guys after the massage. was honestly an incredible massage <laughs> I almost fell asleep and uh, I picked up some lunch and now I am back at the hotel by the pool I got some Portuguese grilled chicken I'm gonna dig in and see how it is it was recommended by my masseuse A little bit of spice to it. Quite salty actually. But that's tasty. Mm. So the hotel that we're staying in um, is called Hotel Hotel. And there's this amazing pool area here. It's gorgeous. I'll show you some clips in a bit. But um yeah, it's really hot today, so I definitely need to jump into the pool at some point because this mama is sweating right now. Okay, so let's talk about why I'm here in Lisbon in the first place with Flodas. So basically, um, I think like maybe six months ago, well, I've been working with Flodas um, with content creation for about like a year or two years now. Um, 
they have partnered with me and you've probably seen some of these videos. Um, I've been using Flowdesk as my email marketing platform for over, I don't know, when they were still in beta, like three years ago, maybe four, and just love them, started to recommend them to my clients and then started creating content about it on YouTube because, because I love, you know, talking about what I use and then um, yeah, about a year or two ago, they have started sponsoring some of my content um, because I talk about them anyways. And then about half a year ago, they reach out and they're like, you know what, Cheryl, we want to invite you to our very first partners retreat in Lisbon. And here we are, um, June of this year, we are, I think they invited like me and nine other girls i think mostly us like influencers coaches um yeah i met like a few of them this morning already um but i feel so excited and privileged to be on this invite list i really it just feels completely surreal and today's technically like the first day where we're gonna meet everybody. I arrived yesterday, but this morning I met a few of the girls for um, breakfast. And then basically you saw, I like um, got a massage, had a little pool day to myself. And then um, I now am getting ready for this first dinner to meet the rest of the ladies. So. Um, just now they sent me something to my room. So I thought I would open it with you and see what's inside. I'm so excited. So the first thing that's sticking out is toasters. They look like crunchy, like bread sticks, bread chips kind of thing. That looks so good. And then Oh, you're invited. You're cordially invited to an exclusive evening of dining and cocktails and all great. The Flodas Partner Retreat. Um, so excited. We're staying at this incredible hotel called the Hotel Hotel. It's like a boutique hotel here and it's gorgeous. Um, a little note here from the Flodas team. Welcome. We are so glad you're here. See you tonight. XO Team Flodas. Very cute. And then we got, oh, perfect. We got a little um, uh, agenda of the day. So that's exciting. Probably won't be going over this in the video because I'll just film um, what's happening. And then, oh, there's a little flower <laughs> inside. Um, let's see what else. The need, the world needs what you've got. What is this? Is this jewelry? Oh, let me see. There's a little card. Oh, there's a necklace. A reminder to keep going and forge ahead because the world needs what you've got. Wow. Okay. Oh, there's a little necklace that says keep going. I should wear this for tonight. Oh, I love that. Keep going. Look at that. That's cute. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll switch that out my necklace and I'll wear that instead. A couple extra postcards. And we have, what is this? Hmm. White tea. Hmm. Whoa, it's loose leaf tea. I love white tea. Mmm, smells good. What else is in here? A little notebook. And my favorite, Pashde Sonata from the Panda, Pandagaria. If you guys have seen my Lisbon video on my other personal travel channel, we love these, so two of them oh my goodness and even provided like the little cinnamon toppings i'll be eating that tonight probably as my midnight snack and that's it that's everything that's part of that um little cute little basket all right i'm gonna switch this out and kind of talk about 
the rest of this trip. So yeah, today is day one. It's already been a great day. Like, honestly, it all feels so surreal. Like I, I have started Made on Sundays for five years now. And um, I started it during the pandemic, like literally right before the pandemic hit. And because of that, for the next three years, you know, there were no events or anything like that. It was a completely digital business. And in Amsterdam, because most of my clients, my industry is mostly in the US and Canada, I've never really been to any networking events or conferences or anything of the kind for Made on Sundays. Um, and so this is kind of like my first networking event, um, you might say. And <laughs> can't believe it's happening in Lisbon of all places. And um, as a retreat with a sponsored company. So I feel incredibly privileged and grateful again. It's just so surreal. Like I cannot believe this is happening right now. And I just feel so spoiled and part of me feels like wow you made it kind of feeling which is i don't know if it's justified but um yeah i'm just very very grateful and um a part of this feels like it's uh kind of like my mat leave beginning of my mat leave um because we are at 31 weeks pregnant um this week and it's just a nice little treat, I guess, for myself to before I kick off mat leave. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be filming the rest of the trip. And so I am, there's about half an hour until cocktails, well, mocktails for me, and then dinner with the team. So I'm excited to meet everyone tonight and keep you in the loop. All right, see you there. officially day two of the festivities and I am just getting ready right now for the day and I thought I would give you like a quick recap of last night's dinner um, and like the kickoff event. I was so tired when I got back to my hotel room so I actually just passed out, like showered and then passed out really quickly. Um, couldn't even give a quick recap but it was incredible like we got to meet everybody for the first time and everyone was so nice and i just love this curation of a group um again there were nine other girls and we were all like small business owners and i don't know like the vibe of the group was just so good and i thought that I was like a little bit nervous going into this event because as you guys know, I am a little bit of an introvert. Sometimes it may not seem like it um, on video, maybe. I don't know, I don't know if I've talked about it before. I can really like turn up my extroverted self like when time calls for it, but um, truly my essence is being an introvert. That's why I have this digital business that I've created where I basically see and talk to nobody <laughs> most of the time and that's kind of what I'm comfortable with um, but yeah this retreat has really been like something I wanted to do 
to challenge myself to really get out there network and like actually meet some of these people in my industry for the first time so it's been very exciting to just talk to people in real life and a very very different experience really truly but honestly everyone has been so incredibly nice especially the flow desk team and got to meet everyone there there's joanna who has been my um kind of direct rep i guess that has been that organized this event but always has been working with me um for campaigns and um sponsorships and uh partnerships and that kind of thing and then I got to meet the owners of uh Flodas, Rebecca and Martha and they are just the most humble like owners founders badass women I have ever met in my life and I, I just can't believe they're just the true essence of being intentional business owners that have grown their business from the ground up and I aspire to be them I don't know if I want to ever own a tech company per se but they are like how humble they are for the amount of success that they have seen is just incredible to see as an example and yeah I just feel like wow they made me cry at some point because just reminded me how hard it is it was to build my business to this place where I get invited to retreats like wow it's just incredible and um I feel so honored and I'm just so excited for the rest of the trip they make me feel so comfortable to be just who I am here and yeah all the ladies have been just so sweet so today we are going to have a full day's agenda so um i guess we'll get the day started <laughs> Technically, the trip has pretty much completed and ended and this is actually my last day here in Lisbon and I'm heading on to a flight to head back to Amsterdam in a couple of hours but I had like a couple of free hours here at the hotel so I thought I would do a quick recap um, of the last two days um, and then I think I'll just like basically layer in some of these b-rolls that I took throughout the trip um, but basically day two started off with um, a little walk to the Flodas office and I had no idea that they opened a little kind of like office slash co-living situation or place in Lisbon because one of the owners, Martha, she actually lives here in Lisbon. So I guess it just makes it really easy to meet with the team and get people together in Lisbon um, since the whole team at Flowdesk is remote. Um, and we started off with a little fireside chat with the owners, Martha and Rebecca and it was just so cool like we got to ask really really deep questions make requests for flowdesk features and just basically have like pretty thorough chats with the founders and owners of flowdesk which i just thought was so so cool i cannot believe that like i'm meeting them in person and like actually hanging out with them throughout this trip and so that was really cool. We talked a lot about what's coming up for Flodas, and I know there's a launch coming up, a, a, a feature launch. So I'm really excited to talk about that soon when it comes out and just 
talking about the evolution of how Flowdesk was put together and I just honestly am so inspired by the owners because they truly live what they like talk about all the time which is to build community and I really admire how they have grown Flowdesk so it was just really cool to see that in person and um yeah, so after the fireside chat, we headed to um, a food tour, which was so, so fun. Basically, we went around Lisbon and we tried a variety of the local Portuguese delicacies here. Um, the food was really, really good and it was really fun just to like, every time we went to a new destination, we were able to kind of mingle with like the other girls and I don't know if I mentioned this already but there's only 10 of us in total so there's me and nine other girls and all of us are huge Flowdesk fans we've all been using Flowdesk for years now and we recommend it to our community and so the cool thing is we're actually coming from different industries though so I'm like the only show it and brand designer there are influencers here, content creators, course creators here, and everyone is just in their own niche. So it's so fascinating to like bring female owners from different industries together to kind of learn from each other and just meet each other because a lot of times we don't really cross paths in the work that we do. So yeah, that was really, really cool for me. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, so the food tour was amazing. And then we basically, after the food tour, we took like a little break in between just to like freshen up. And then we basically went to dinner with everyone at this incredible rooftop restaurant. Um, I'll put the name of all the places that we went to in the description below, but this rooftop restaurant was incredible. We started off with some cocktails and mocktails and just hung out, like watching this incredible view. Um, again, like the owners were there, the Flodas team was there, and obviously all the partners were there. So it was just really cool to like mingle with each other and just spend a lot of quality time together, honestly. And um, one thing that we did for a lot on this trip was to have table conversations and one of the topics that we talked about at this um, rooftop restaurant was I guess the prompt was what are you most proud of in your life like what have you done that you're most proud of and it got really deep like everyone actually started sharing their personal stories about you know their life and accomplishments and I don't know it's really hard to explain how we all felt in that moment like so cared for so supportive so special that we are all in this experience together at the same time in real life which has never happened for me like I this is basically my first kind of networking event for my business and I think for a lot of people for many years, we haven't really met in real life events uh, for a while because of you know what happened in 2020. So um, it was just such an incredible experience to come together and talk about these really important things in our life and being celebrating them together. Um, dinner was obviously incredible. I had these pork cheeks and it was just like, so tender and tasty and basically dinner ended up being until like almost 11 12 p.m so we got home afterwards um, or back to the hotel and that was the end of day two and then on day three we got up you know had breakfast and we then hopped on to these ubers and we drove all the way to the Bellum Tower. So if you've been to Lisbon, you probably would have been to this destination. It's this beautiful like park area with this tower called the Bellum Tower. Um, and there we set up a little luxury picnic. Um, and 
well, we did the picnic for lunchtime, but basically they laid out these tables, low tables in the park area. And we started off with a floral arrangement class and that was super, super cute. And we ended up putting together these really beautiful bouquets and it was just like really, I don't know, cutesy. I guess. I don't know, the flowers that they picked were amazing and we all took photos together and it was just such an incredible experience to be doing that with the view of the Bellum Tower in the back. And then afterwards we had our luxury picnic and that was also so yummy um, and so luxury. I don't think, I've always seen these like luxury picnics on Instagram and I've never experienced one before so that was definitely a first very shortly the rain started coming down so we're like oh my gosh we gotta grab our bags we gotta get back to the hotel so we ordered some ubers and drove back to the hotel like pretty quickly because it started getting really cold um and then we freshened up and around 3 p.m we then met up back at the uh, flota's offices and we did some headshots so I don't think I filmed any part of this because I was, you know, like busy doing headshots and interviews. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to see those photos um, and see how they might use those videos in the future. Um, and then after that, we had another rooftop bar. Um, it was just really close to the office and we hung out there um, for some appetizers uh, and it was the most gorgeous rooftop bar I've ever seen like it was very like hippie and bohemian and also chic at the same time and they had really incredible appies and stuff so we just had some snacks there and then um, most of the girls then ended up going on a boat ride like a sunset boat cruise but um, I get motion sick really easily so I did not join for that portion of the trip and I decided to well my husband's here with me so I decided to just go to dinner with my husband and we ended up getting like the most amazing seafood ever I was really craving crab you guys so I ordered crab and we got these like tiger prawns that were like this big they basically were lobsters they grilled them uh, just with like salt and it was so good um, and we also got some like little shrimps which were also really good um, and now yeah, that was basically yesterday that was the end of our day and we went back to our hotel rooms and just passed out basically I am so so tired at this point <laughs> um, I, I probably mentioned this but I am 31 weeks pregnant this week and so I'm definitely getting close to that you know needing to nest and I'm a bit more fatigued a little bit so I'm definitely ready to go home today <laughs> just lay on my couch for the rest of the next two months um, and yeah so Anyways, that was a brief recap of this trip with Flodas. It was honestly just so inspiring and eye-opening for me. I really have never imagined that this would happen for me, that I would be invited to something like this in my business. I know, you know, I've been in my business for five years, so it's not like it's been a short amount of time, but I still feel like um, I'm such a small P in the landscape of digital businesses. Um, I choose to grow very, very intentionally and slowly so that um, I'm honoring, you know, the pace of life that I want to live. And sometimes that comes with, you know, uh, that you don't grow as quickly with your business or you miss out on networking opportunities or whatever that might be and so I really never imagined that I would be invited to something like an experience like this that's so cool so I really wanted to thank Flodes for including me onto this trip I am truly such an introvert sometimes and um, 
Usually for something like this, I would feel so anxious to attend, but they made me feel so, so welcome. And everyone was just so, so nice. And I learned so much about Flodas, learned so much about the team, learned so much about email marketing, and I learned so much about the backgrounds of each of the girls. And I just want to thank them from like the bottom of my heart that they were so welcoming and made me feel so safe to be sharing and you know spending this last three days like magical days together so yeah that is my flow desk retreat so anyways i hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog um i am officially going to be going on maternity leave in august so um yeah i'll talk more about that in the next vlog i guess all right see you guys bye